right, so we have a fairly straightforward production function here where the quantity we're going to produce, Q, is equal to three times the capital, the amount of capital that we use, plus six times the amount of labor that we use. So a linear production function, and you're given that capital is equal to five, so we're going to use five units of capital, and the labor is equal to ten. So we're using ten units of labor. Uh, and so now we should be able to go through and, and calculate the total quantity that we're going to be able to produce in this production function using five units of capital and ten units of labor. We should be able to calculate the average product of labor and the average product of capital. And that is, on, on average, uh, how much output is produced uh, by each unit of labor that you're using. So you put in one unit of labor, uh, how many units of output are you getting on average? And then we can also calculate the marginal product of labor and the marginal product of capital. And so those, the, the marginal product is the, the amount of, of output you're going to get from that next unit of either capital or labor that you put in. So if we were to add one more, at the margin, if we were to add one more unit of labor, how much is your, your quantity output going to increase? And so let's start by figuring out Q. And uh, so Q is equal to 3 times the amount of capital, 5 units of capital, plus 6 times the amount of labor that we're using. So it should be 15 plus 60, 75. So Q is equal to, to 75. All right, well now what's the average product of labor? So for each unit of labor that we're using, how much it, uh, output is being used, or how much output is being produced on average. And so to do that, we can just divide, get the average product of labor. Uh, we can just divide our output, Q, by the amount of labor we're using. And uh, so it should be 75 divided by 10 would give us 7.5. So for each unit of labor we put in, on average, we're getting uh, seven and a half units of output. Uh, same calculation with capital. We can actually uh, get the average product of capital should be equal to 75 divided by uh, 5. So that should be 15. So whenever we add a unit of labor on average, we're getting seven and a half units of, uh, I should rephrase that, with every unit on average, every unit of labor we put in, we're getting about seven and a half units of, of output back for, uh, on average, each unit of capital is giving us 15 units uh, of, uh, giving us 16 uh, units of output back. Now, what if we were to add one more unit of labor? How much more labor, how much more output are we going to get from that extra unit of labor? And so if we, instead of using 10 units of labor, if we use 11 units of labor, added one more. And, and with this fairly simple production function, if you add one more unit of labor, so if you change this from 10 to 11, the, the output, the Q is going to go up by this coefficient, coefficient 6. So the, the marginal product of labor, if you add one more labor, you're going to just increase this, this L by 1, you multiply that by the 6, so you're going to get 6 more units uh, of output with, e with each additional unit uh, of labor that you add. With capital, same idea. If, if you add that 6th unit of capital, one more unit of capital, you're going to get that, that one more multiplied by the, the coefficient 3, and so you're going to get 3 more units of output. Uh, again, you can, use, you can use calculus to do that. You can take the derivative um, with respect to capital, and Q is going to equal 3, and you can take the derivative with respect to labor, Q will equal 6. Um, but you don't necessarily have to, to use the calculus to solve this one.